yet. <laughs> Welcome to JSCon Asia. Maybe the first conference that's introduced from underwater. Sometimes it's really hard to organize a conference, is it? Oh, my God, it. I hadn't had an aquarium available today, so I'm sorry. I couldn't do the underwater thing again. Welcome to JSCon Asia and Jesperdy. Who knows Jeopardy and wants to participate? Please applaud. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the fifth JS Conf Asia here in Singapore. Super glad you're all here. I you, hope you're a bit excited. Can I hear you a little bit? OK, great. I can't believe we're here. Five years was definitely not what I set out for when we started in 2012 with the first JS camp. And uh, I don't know if you know the story behind it. Um, it was a friend of mine, Sebastian, and I who decided to create a community conference because we didn't know where all these developers were in Singapore. We couldn't find them. Like, we found ourselves here working with web technologies. And where we were coming from, from Europe, like, we knew a lot of people doing this. But here, somebody seemed to be creating websites. They were all, all over the place, but we had no idea who they were. So we thought, OK, let's create a conference and see who all these people are. And turns out, 300 people actually showed up. And I wanted to show you a few pictures that we have from then. And this is still true, as it was in 2012. We're still the closest JavaScript conference to Java. <laughs> still holds true. So this is 2012. This is the humble beginnings, uh, how it started. Um, with a few friends of mine, and we pulled up some inflatable palm trees and thought, let's do a JavaScript conference. <clears throat> this is how it looked. 300 people showed up. And a few things you might actually still see at JSCon Asia this year. The Jimmy Monkey flag in the back there, they're the same guys doing the coffee for you today, and it's still as good. And we had a surprising amount of great people coming by from all over the place. This is Jed Schmidt who joined us in 2012, and Joshua. Joshua, are you here today too? He was here for CSSCon for sure yesterday. And he stuck around too. Can you wave there in the back? If you have a good Wi-Fi connection today, it's because of Fred, who did it the first year. And he actually built a small company around providing Wi-Fi for events after this. And this guy. Maybe he's already in the audience. He's also one of the guys who stuck around. He gave one of the first talks, the one in the back. Jan, he's going to give a talk about hardware this year again. I think it's his third talk at JSConf Asia. So we have a lot of people that stick with us. I think Simon, is he already here too? He's going to do a talk later after lunch. Like, he's also one of our favorites. Like, I think this is going to be his fourth talk here. Like, last year I told him, Simon, I can't have you on every year. Like, we need other people too. And then he came and gave a lightning talk in the break as an audience member. So the whole team, 2012, which I couldn't have done it without. That's how we started. The first 300 brave souls that thought, yay, conference in Asia, sounds great, let's go. That was the year afterwards. That was in Manila, it was slightly smaller, and back then I was still naive enough to think it would be easy to just have a conference travel around Southeast Asia and be organized in every city every year. It was really tough, but it was a great event afterwards. 2014, slowly growing. That was last year, 2015. Five years. Can I actually see who was here 2012? Just a show of hands. I see Jan. Yeah, that's correct. I see CJ. 
Do we have a few souls that came? Who was here all five years, actually? I at least saw two names coming up when I did the query myself, and I wonder if they are here already and can identify themselves. I think that's super cool that we are able to do a conference like this year after year and have so many people show up. Um, the main idea behind it is still the same. We still want to know who are all these web developers in Southeast Asia and want to talk to them and make sure that we create more people that want to come into web development and create a welcoming community around it. And that's kind of the word that I want to stick the conference around, is the community building aspect of it. So during the next two days, make sure you find as many interesting people to talk to that you can possibly find. We're going to have live chairs tonight where there's going to be great performances uh, together with a bunch of drinks so you can talk and roam around and enjoy JavaScript giving you entertainment time. And we're going to have the five-year anniversary party tomorrow at The Great Escape where you are happy to join in and pay with your brackets uh, for drinks and just make sure you go home with the most learnings and the most new contacts that you can possibly find. I also want to give out a shout out to the good guys from Palo IT who are participating in DevFest Asia. Uh, they had a workshop last weekend where uh, I think eight to 10 people that just found themselves, they signed up randomly, had to create a mobile app in two days, and they actually succeeded in doing so. Uh, it's online as a mobile website on confmatch.com. So you can try it out. It's a very simple thing. You sign up with your GitHub, and you can put in your interests and see if you find other people that you want to connect with in this event or other DevFest events. DevFest came actually about three years ago as a simple list of events that happened around the conference because people were always bothering me. It's like, can you put my event on your website for the conference because I want all these awesome people to come to my event too. And eventually, we created DevFest as a separate website. Um, that would list all of these events. And last year, it grew bigger and bigger. This year, we have 21 events, more than 1,200 registered attendees for all these events. Uh, this is, I think, the 16th or 17th event as part of DevFest this year. And DevFest has now an official vision, too, which is to enhance digital expertise in Asia, emphasize on collaboration, and build community. So with all of this community talk, um, let's get some more community talk. <laughs>